In this demonstration, we're going to look at a password setting object. What we have here is we have our Active Directory domain, and within our Active Directory domain, under our default domain policy, what we have is we have some password settings. And these password settings apply to everybody. So what I've done here is I've just came in, I've just came into my Group Policy Management Editor, I've gone to my default domain policy, I've come into Computer Config, Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, and account policies and if we have a look at the password policy what we're seeing here is enforced password history of 24 passwords so what we're seeing here is if a user does set a password they can't use one that they've used in the last 24 resets we're going to say that the maximum password age is 42 days we're going to say for example the minimum password length is seven characters now what we might want to do is have a completely different password policy for different groups of users so what we can do with the pso is we can create this pso and then associate that with an active directory group so in order to do that what we do is we just come to our active directory admin center on our active directory admin center i've come to a datum and what we're going to do here is i'm just going to find my system container so here's my system container now within here, the next thing we want to find here is we just want to scroll this down and find our password settings container. And within our password settings container, this is where we're going to start setting up our PSOs. What we're going to do here is we're just going to come across the new, and what we're going to do is go for password settings. This then brings me into a nice little wizard. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start filling this out. So as you can see, this sort of mirrors what we have on the default domain policy but what we're going to do here is we're going to give this a name and we're going to change some of these settings so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this it administrators pso i'm going to give this a precedence of one so we want this fairly high up here and what we want to do here is we just want to modify some of these settings so for enforce the minimum password length what we're going to do here for the it admins is we're going to make that 10. then what we're also going to do as well is we're going to um we're going to leave the enforced password history. I think 24 is enough. What I am going to do is I'm going to get them to set their passwords every 30 days. I'm going to leave the minimum password age. Uh, I am going to leave the tick box for password must meet complex built requirements. What I am going to do though is I am going to enforce the account logout policy. I'm going to put in here the number of failed logon attempts. I'm going to allow them three. Uh, reset the fill logon attempt account after 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, we will lock out their accounts though for let's make that 60 minutes instead. So now we've modified this, we could put in a description, I'm not going to bother, but what I do need to say is who this will apply to. So this point here, we'll select our add button under directly applies to. As you can see, it brings us into a nice little active directory search utility here. So what we're going to search for here is our IT admins group. So I'll just type in IT and then an A and then we'll check names. And it's come back with IT admins. We'll select OK and we'll select OK again. So, what we've done here is we've now changed the password requirements purely for our IT admins group. Apart from that, everybody else will still be controlled by the Active Directory default domain policy. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.